Howdy folks, out on the front street today doing a little repair project that the wife told me about last night. This is our address marker post and I've got a little spotlight that shines on it at night. And I've got it turned on right now but as you can see there's nothing happening. No light, no photons. So I just thought I'd do this quick little video showing you a very basic diagnostic process what I would follow. You start at the easy stuff first. So before we go to the light, let's see if there's actually power at the power outlet for the transformer for the light. This is a low voltage landscape spotlight, runs on 12 volts AC. Just a little 12 volt transformer. This is the only light that it uh, powers, so it's not like we can check it against other lights. But I don't know if you can see, there is power to it. You know, we could check in the uh, electrical box, but you can tell there's power. And when you hit the manual button, you know, you can hear the relay firing so let's just see if there's actually voltage can I hang this on something it'll still be in frame probably not bear with me while I get this off come on and let me guess I don't have the don't have it turned on There we go, 12.8 volts. So, transformer's working. Let's go to the light now. We'll just leave it turned on. Now, I've made this light so it's easy to remove because I've had these fail before. These are these Hampton Bay things. You think they wouldn't be as bad as the cheap Chinese stuff you can get on eBay. It's even worse, it seems. Connector, here. I pack it with grease so it doesn't corrode. But let's see if we've got voltage at the plug. So yeah, this is the next step of the process. So we've got power coming out of the power source, which is the transformer. Is there an open in the wiring from the transformer to the light? And no, there's not. We're getting 13 volts here as well. So I guess we've got to take this light into the garage and see if we can fault trace it. With our little light inside, I'm just going to double check to see if, you know, we were getting voltage outside, but let's just see if it will work off of a uh, 12 volt power source. This could be anything. I'm using a 3S LiPo pack. Make sure there's nothing weird with the connector. And we'll try reversing the polarity just in case something's wrong with the rectifier in there. And nothing so something has crapped the bed inside the light whether it's one of the LEDs or maybe the driver circuit so I'm gonna have to open that up do that real quick let's just get the power out of here though so we don't shorten anything out you can see these LEDs are on a fairly big aluminum heat sink and these these lights are built they're just they're built like garbage you know you pay a premium for the LEDs and I've had this apart already they don't use any potting on the circuit board inside so if any moisture gets in here it'll rot out the, the uh, board the PCB or the components on it You pay a premium for the LED technology, thinking it should last for thousands and thousands of hours. And you can see I've already been in here with silicone and silicone this board right up because this is a problem. I've had these lights fail before on me. But everything looks dry in here, so uh, my guess is that one of these LEDs is shot. So we're going to have to uh, supply direct power to the LEDs to test them out. So all I've done here is I've got the negative hookup to the negative diode. These are in series. So negative to there, positive on this side, which goes over to the negative on this side, feeds through this diode to the positive. 
and I've just got it hooked up to my um, variable power supply and I've put in a 330 ohm current limiting resistor just as a guess so I'm just going to dial this up go up to about 12 volts or so nothing's happening so one of these diodes is likely dead if not both so let's try one at a time we'll try this one oh so it's working now let's go on to this one dial it up nothing but it works on this one fine so we know this diode is dead A dead LED which is taking out both of them because they are in series so I'm just gonna have to go through my junk bin of diodes see if I've got another one that's roughly the same color and output found a, another, another LED a light emitting diode I think it's the right one if you're wondering where I found this okay yeah it works it's the right color looks exactly the same um, because I've had several of these lamps these garden spotlights fail I've always kept the good working LEDs out of them so that's a little tip if you've got one of these silly things or you've got a few of them and one fails try to keep the working guts out of them so we're just gonna get rid of this hopefully Remember that's going to the positive pad. This is going to the negative here. Let's just retin these ends real quick. Of course, they use the uh, no lead solder from the factory. So it's uh, nice to get rid of that stuff. And I think we don't have to take these screws right out. I think we can just loosen them off. No, nope, we're gonna have to take one out at the guy, I guess. And I imagine there's probably some, some of that white heat conductive grease on the back so I'll just put a little bit more on I hate this stuff put way too much on but hey we're in a rush here's our new one I don't know how to orient this uh, probably this way eh? it still works yep so I'll solder the positive to this pad here negative to that pad there Now, let's get the battery out and see if we can see if this works now. Doesn't really matter what the polarity is because they've got a built in rectifier. There we go. Back in business. So we'll just put the light back together, throw it outside, and see if it works. Hopefully, repaired light in hand. Let's plug it in. See if that did the trick. we go first chore of the weekend off the honeydew list cheers folks have a good one